Hello friends. Um, so uh, today I am at the yoga studio that I work in um, on the Upper West Side. It's called Upper West Side Yoga and Wellness. Shout out to you, Stefan and Ingrid, the um, owners who are divine and um, very kind and uh, brilliant people. Shout out for you. Um, I uh, have had um, a few days, I've moved again. Um, so I was saying my friend Sarah's house who um, was away in London and um, it was a beautiful one bedroom apartment on 93rd and really nice with an elevator and a lift. Um, thing it like, I understand now why people seem like they're affected when they come back from the US and that is because I tell you for why. I, if I speak the way that I speak normally in, in like English, um, British English, um, UK English, people in the US don't understand. So if you say, I've got to Hoover, um, they don't know what you mean. Um, if you say lift, they don't know what you mean. Uh, if they, if you say, I don't know, there's loads of stuff. Obviously we all know this, but, but I, I am now, I am now, um, relinquishing any judgment from anyone who lives in the US and then comes back and sounds like they're affected. The word affected means that you are f affected by your environment. You've been affected by something. So when you live here, you are affected by the other people. Um, I seem like I'm being aggressive right now. And um, that's a thing that I want to talk about because um, I did a sexual harassment training for my job here um, just because we have to know what sexual harassment is and um, because obviously working in, this, in a yoga studio and all of that as well and being with um, customers and whatever. So, and it was so enlightening, it was amazing. Um, obviously it's probably different to the UK. Um, but I learned all about cisgender and um, all of that kind of non-binary and everything like so that's kind of I mean I knew I knew a lot of stuff about it before but I but I I wasn't completely like understanding of it um, so I like I like took screenshots when I was doing it and like you know I can really have a look at it but sexual harassment is definitely a thing I don't know I need to look into it in the UK um, but in America it's very very serious um, but it's also um, uh, they have guidelines here that to me um, seem quite harsh um, but I always thought that sexual harassment was um, if you were you know molested or you know sexually abused when actually um, you know and I, I know I'm catching up on this and I'm sure lots of other people know what this is but if, if you don't know what sexual harassment is it is a, discrimina a discrimination against uh, your sex um, and from doing this training I realized that like how many times I've been sexually ha had sexual harassment against me like so many times I can't even I can't even count look how red it makes my face go <laughs> um, yeah um, especially on a particular job um, in the UK that I did um, and yeah, I'm like trying to not say what that is um, in case of something, um, but in case it comes back to haunt me, like most things do now that, nowadays, now that everything's recorded and that I'm actually choosing to record this and not edit it. Um, so um, yeah, I definitely was um, a survivor. I am a survivor of sexual harassment. Now, on this training, which I also thought was good, um, some people choose to call themselves a victim of, of sexual harassment or a survivor of sexual harassment or a survivor of sexual abuse or, um, or abuse of, of anything, you know, survivor or a victim. I choose now to call myself a survivor. Um, I love Hannah Gadsby um, and Nanette on Netflix. If you haven't watched it and you're a woman and if you're a man, more so you should watch it. Um, oh God, I'm looking at the wrong place. I need to be looking there. I'm so sorry. Um, getting used to it, getting used to it. Um, 
I don't know what that was. My friend Nick would probably laugh at me from do, for doing that because we do this thing where I'm like, go over there. Um, I don't know why I do that. It sounds really, really strange. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, back to the serious. Um, yeah, sexual harassment is a real thing, um, meaning that uh, as whatever gender you are, you must learn about what your rights are. Um, I will do a more in-depth video about this at some point. Right now, I am um, about to start work, so I have to go, but uh, I just wanted to um, check in and do another video. To say also that today I've been really emotional and I don't know why, I've been like on the verge of tears. Um, I'm having to do a self-tape um, and I'm really coldy and I've had to tell my agent that I don't want to do it today and it's due tomorrow and you know all that all those kind of stresses that um an anxiety that come from you know wanting to please and wanting to show up but not being able to and that being okay is is really hard like actually you know to be like it's okay not to show up is is like the hardest thing um <clears throat> and i think when people are doing you know, who are in show business or who are in theatre, you know, it's very easy for the outside, for, uh, for people to see the glamour, the glamorous side of it. But this is the non-glamorous side. This, like, that's what I want to show in these videos. Oh, there you go. There's, a, there's a, uh, an idea that I'm going to do. It's showing the non-glamorous non side of this industry, um, of the industry that I've been in um, and have, you know, have stayed in for a very long time and I'm now trying to discover if I want to still be in it. I love it and um, I love it when it's a, when I feel like I can create in a safe and supported environment but more often than not you are not supported, you are a product that someone is employing and um, I hope that by me doing these videos and being more confident um, to be outspoken, um, I will be able to become a brilliant director who can um, who can decide that in a room that I am conducting, um, you know, when I when I'm directing, that I will conduct the room in a safe and supported way, so that the artists feel that they that they can be free to create um, and not be worried that they're going to lose their job because that doesn't get anything out of anyone. It's not even about that, it's just giving people anxiety in general, it's just not okay. And <clears throat> we as artists, you know, you get the job, you're in the rehearsals, you're worried that people aren't, uh, that they're going to want to sack you if you don't pick it up quick enough. You know, it's like a constant, it's a constant anxiety, you know. Are you going to be on if you're a cover? Um, are you going to be? A, are you going to crack if you do a note? Um, are you going to fall off the hay cart? You know, like um, that's a young Frank Frankenstein reference, by the way. Um, you know, are you going to not uh, not be able to sing that note if you've got tonsillitis and you're stressed? You know, like it's it's a constant a constant battle. You wake up every morning and you are worried. So. You know, if anyone else is feeling that or has felt that in the past, write in the comments below and um, and uh, you know, let's have a little, let's have a debate about that. Um, again, please, um, you know, feel free to write any comments, write any questions. I will then um, look at them and I will um, try and answer them in my blog posts, um, my vlog posts. I don't know what to call it. Whatever, I call it whatever. I was calling it Strauss, Pillow Talk with Strauss the other day. It's now like Yoga Zen Place with Strauss. <laughs> I don't know, shiny, shiny red face with Strauss more like today. Um, but um, um, yeah, uh, I'm so happy um, to have got so many gorgeous comments and um, and uh, you know I feel that this is going to help lots of people and um, 
and and vice versa and help me so um i'm very very grateful for that and in true true yoga style and yoga instructor style i genuinely am saying bringing the energy together bringing my palms to my heart and saying namaste which means i honor the divine in you that i see in myself that is a, a you know this whole spiritual thing is is bounded about so much and um, as an empath as someone who is highly sensitive and highly intuitive I do feel people's energies and I do see people's light and I wish that the world did too and they don't and that's why I get overwhelmed so um, I am getting upset now so I'm gonna go because I have to start work but I'm not getting upset I'm just it just again like today is a I've just been really emotional. So <laughs> it's coming out. I don't know why. I think, you know, it could be something to do with the planets. I don't know enough about astrology. I love astrology. I think there is something in it. I think there's a, something in everything, um, you know, that we can learn from. So I'm rabbiting on. But yeah, seriously, in La Kesh Alakin, I am the other you. That's from my a teacher, Bobby Klein, who I follow. He says that at the end of his... Um, his podcast every week and it's amazing have a listen Bobby Klein um, reads the I Ching every Sunday and it's glorious um, and really helps me I haven't listened to it today um, but he says in la kesh a la kin I am the other you and I like it that way and that's I think what we need to continue um, love 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 